Hello friends, how are you doing today? So in this video, we are going to talk about generative AI ecosystem. So when it comes to generative AI, you might have heard about the models, how you can pick the right model for your organization and use it and reap the benefit of generative AI for your business use case, correct? In this video, we are going to talk about generative AI ecosystem. Do you really need to know about the generative AI ecosystem, whether it is useful for a uh, solution architect or enterprise architect? or if you are in a domain specific organization where you are managing a couple of applications, does it really need to know the generative AI ecosystem? And also what are all the benefits and drawbacks of uh, setting up this generative AI ecosystem for your organization? All those things you are going to see it in this video, okay? So let me start with what exactly the ecosystem means. Ecosystem means it's a combination of living and non-living things. Suppose if you take our ecosystem, we do have our uh, non-living things like earth, water, air, all those types. On top of that, we have the living things like birds, animals, and human beings, right? So this combination of living things and non-living things will form a better ecosystem where you can live better. Similarly, when it comes to generative AI ecosystem, there are certain components that needs to be available for you to create the AI models. That is called the generative AI infrastructure. If you take a generative AI infrastructure, it has the GPU, CPU, network, storage, all those components called um, generative AI infrastructure components, and you can compare it to the non-living things in our ecosystem. And the frameworks, suppose if you are a technology company, you are developing uh, generative AI models, what you need, you need frameworks like PyTorch, Watson X, all these frameworks need to be available on this infrastructure, IGP, ICP infrastructure, and you use those frameworks and the data, curated data, to build and train the model. So once you have this a framework and uh, the curated data, you can create and build and deploy the A model, generative A model for your organization. And um, after creating this A model, if you are a software company, if you are a technology company, you create generative AI products and these generative AI products uses this generative AI model and you'll release these products to the organizations outside of your organization to purchase and use it in their domain specific organization. So normally what will happen, if you take an example of IBM as an organization, they have the very well established generative AI infrastructure that has this high CPU, GPU, storage network, everything. And they do have the powerful AI framework for developing these type of AI models. And once they develop these AI model, they release the AI model for other people to use, or they use the AI model and create the products called AI products, right? And those AI products will be sold for the organizations to buy and use it. Suppose if you are a retail company and you want to implement this generative AI for your organization, you can buy these type of products from um, the companies like IBM and integrate those products with your organization's enterprise-specific applications to reap the benefit of generative AI. The key important component uh, of uh, generative AI ecosystem is generative AI governance. So normally, the governance is one of the key things that you must keep in mind when you try to explore or use the generative AI products in your organization. Why? Because when you use wrong data or uh, any vulnerable data to train your generative AI model, you may get into the trouble when you use the model in your business purpose. The generative AI governance is the center and hub of this entire generative AI ecosystem where you can see uh, the governance is used to manage the AI framework, generative AI infrastructure, and uh, data, and generative AI model, etc. These powerful uh, features of generative AI governance are very much required for any product development companies who are focusing on building and releasing the generative AI for other organizations to use. Now, let's take uh, the domain-specific organization. What exactly the domain-specific organization uh, the democracy organizations are the retail companies, uh, banking systems or banking companies or insurance companies, etc. Right? These um, industry-specific companies or domain-specific companies are focusing on the business and they don't need to worry too much about how to 
create or build this generate ai model and use it in their business because if you are a retail company or if you are a finance company or if you are a, an insurance company your focus is to get the insurance products or the banking products or retail products sold to the customer and uh, make sure that customer uses your product well right yeah. so this is the right focus of all the domain specific organizations if you try to focus on building the generative ai ecosystem and uh, try to purchase the ai frameworks and try to use the curated data and if you try to build and deploy your own generative ai model it will cost a lot and not only it will cost a lot but also you will end up spending too much time to do all this work so um, instead of going and building this generative ai ecosystem for your domain specific industries or domain specific organization start exploring or evaluating the generative ai models which were built and released as generative ai product by the companies like ibm so ibm has the powerful generative ai ecosystem where they have this powerful generative ai infrastructure generative ai uh, frameworks data curated data that is one more important thing that you must keep in mind uh, only a few organizations in this world technology organizations in the world has the ability to use the curated data and also enterprise level data ibm is one of the companies they have the powerful uh, curated data enterprise level data and also they have the domain specific experience knowledge and experience uh, they work with the multiple retail customers finance institutes and insurance customers so they know the value of each domain specific organization data so those companies can easily set up this type of generative infrastructure and build the generative model for the organizations like a domain specific organization to use so as a domain specific organization what you must do you must focus on evaluating this type of generative model and fit in with your domain specific use cases suppose if you are a retail company and you would like to know about the customer satisfaction and customers pain problems and how you can innovatively intelligently solve those problems with the generative ai you must take the certain products developed by these type of companies and evaluate those product and fit in with your enterprise specific applications and uh, solve the customer specific problem or your company specific problems so basically what i am trying to say here if you are a domain specific company you don't need to build the generative ai infrastructure but just purchase the generative ai products powerful products and evaluate it and integrate with your enterprise level applications and reap the benefit out of it and ibm has the powerful generative ai ecosystem and they have built generative ai products that will be helpful for different types of industries across the world and couple of the key generative ai products what ibm built is one the watson extra data this is one of the powerful generative ai products built by ibm and what you can do with watson extra data you can combine the data warehouse uh, source or data lake source and if your uh, data is residing in multiple data sources you can combine and use the generative ai model to query uh, those data and use it for your business effectively and uh, it will produce innovative output when you use this watson extra data for your organization and second product it watson extra ai so this is similar to the lab the ai lab suppose if you want to test a particular model in your organization you can go and do the prompting with the model and use this watson extra ai lab to do all these lab type of works and the third one is watson extra governance watson extra governance uh, is the key product as i mentioned earlier it takes care of governing your data generative ai model and also it takes care of 360 degree view of the governance of your organization's generative ai models and uh, technologies and uh, fourth one is watson x start orchestrate so watson x orchestrate is nothing but the product that will work fine with your uh, hr systems to processes automate your processes like um, recruitment processes and uh, hr management people management processes etc and watson x assistant is another product 
that is used to help your organizations to build intelligent chatbot application and integrate with your enterprise application smartly. The final one is Watson X Code Assistant. So Watson X Code Assistant is one of the key products for your organization developers and testers who can easily build the code and test cases by using this Watson X Code Assistant uh, generative AI product developed and released by Watson X um, group of IBM. So these are all the key products and the list go on. So the uh, message to the domain specific organization is to focus on getting these type of products, evaluate this generative AI product and find out the right use case to integrate these generative AI products in your organization, specifically on your um, business development focus areas. So this is uh, the message and also I have provided the links to access this type of products and try it out in your organization and reap the benefit out of Generative AI. And if you have any uh, questions, put in the comment box below. We can collaborate. Take care. Bye.